And good morning, everybody. Mundari, a song uh, requested by Amandeep Sangha. Why do I feel like I've done a request from you that Amandeep rings a bell? Anyway, uh, requested, uh, let's see now. Uh, if this is from the Coke Studios, uh, season four from Pakistan. Uh, this is Ustad Nasir Udin Sami, is how he's got it here. He is the only living singer who can sing in the ancient 49 microtone scale of Indo Arabic music. Okay. So let us check out. Let's see, I have it here. Mundari. Ustad Nasir Udin Sami is what it says here on the on the YouTube video. So, I won't argue with anybody's pronunciations of uh, these names because I certainly don't know. So, let me see now. We had a commercial pop up here a minute ago that disturbed the whole process. So, hopefully, it won't do it again. So, let us proceed. And I will keep my eye on that little factor. <laughs> like the graph they have in the back with his voice. <laughs> Very cool. To my western ear, some of the notes do sound a little off, not bad, just off key, and, and I, they are, micro-tuning and all that. I thought I had uh, subtitles on this, but apparently not. Well, it's all about the voice. Yeah, I want one of those graphs. <laughs> room size graph. Oh, there we go. I, I 
I guess that's what it was. He was just oohing and on. No vocals yet. I mean, no lyrics, let's just say. <laughs> My fingering, why? It's all about the finger ring, isn't it? He can hold a note. There is a, a graph that a reactor who I watch now and again uses with singers and it shows how accurate they are 
holding a note properly, S staying within the range of a certain note. I would like him to do this guy and see how he's probably spot on. Very cool. Studio, Coke Studios. So there it is. Now, um, with as good as he is and how well he does what he does, I wouldn't say it's something I would listen to a lot, only because I'm not used to it. You know, I'm more of a, you know, I have that whole Western uh, thing that I, I'm used to. So this is good, uh, and like I said, I'd like to see the graph this guy uses on another reaction uh, channel, and he'll put voices to it to see, and they'll, there's this little graph, and it just shows how on or off they are on a certain note that they're singing. And this guy, I'll bet you, is right on target, except for the fact that whether that one measures microtones or not, I don't know, because he is obviously very a microtonal and microtones is the first time I heard or learned a little bit about that was um, they're from Australia uh, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard I was noticing their guitars had these extra frets on them these weird little frets between frets and I was like what on earth is that and someone in the comments explained to me that's microtones and it was right that they do use these, they have these, to my ear and probably most Western people, it sounds off. It's just like, well, that's a sour note. It's not a sour note, but to us, it kind of sounds wrong because we're not used to that. But once you listen to it enough, you realize, ah, oh, okay, it's just sort of in between notes. And I don't know what it would be a note wise. I don't know one from the other on a, you know, standard neck of a guitar. So. I certainly wouldn't know those, but yeah, very cool. This is uh, neat, I, and that's why I'm kind of doing this. Like, I, I like listening to things that uh, I haven't heard before. Yeah, this guy. It's there at the end when he did that last thing. He faded out with that. Oh, it was like it almost didn't sound like a voice. It sounded like an instrument, and maybe it was a combination of everything play playing and his voice. I don't know, but very neat. Very cool, very interesting, very microtonal. <laughs> we like microtones. All right, folks, we've got another one to do today, and I am going to do that as we speak. So, hope you enjoyed. I did. I did. It was cool. Later, guys. <laughs>